My name is Keith DeChambeau, Director of Operations and owner of Acadian Sea Plains. So we're based out of uh, Rangeley, Maine, base of operations, and uh, we, uh, we also operate uh, in the New York City area in the summertime, and then we move the business to South Florida and operate to and from South Florida and the uh, Bahamas uh, during the winter. You know, we've got uh, several different aircraft, from Cessna 185 series aircraft to the Kodiak here behind us, and um, each aircraft runs about um, 300, uh, 400 hours um, per year. Yeah, so what makes a great seaplane is uh, its stall characteristics, its short takeoff and land, and the Kodiak has a pretty incredible wing um, that allows it to operate in some uh, pretty tight spaces, um, along with the 750 horse uh, Pratt Whitney. Um, and then it's mated on Aeroset composite float. So besides performance, um, it's the ease of maintenance. Um, you know, these airplanes are operating in environments like behind me here, uh, salt water, a lot of other uh, float manufacturers uh, manufacture aluminum floats. Um, so you see a lot of um, corrosion uh, throughout the entire float system. Uh, very hard to get corrosion on a composite float. Uh, the only place you get corrosion is, uh, say, water rudders and uh, landing gear that we spray off after every flight. Um, another thing that makes a great seaplane uh, in the charter world is its, um, is its, uh, its inside, its interior, um, and its space. So. Um, We've got full AC, uh, we carry seven seats in this Kodiak, um, and um, it's just a very comfortable airplane. Yeah, so at Acadian Seaplane, safety is our number one priority, and that's mainly why we've gone with the Kodiak. It's an uh, airplane that was designed within the last decade um, to the newest and higher safety standards. The Kodiak is the only airplane um, in its class that's certified on Aeroset floats. Um, uh, not only is Acadian Seaplanes the Aeroset dealer for the East Coast, but the ease of maintenance. Um, we can actually um, uh, compete with uh, some other caravans uh, that have a much higher operating cost due to um, the ongoing um, or exceeding uh, exceedance in maintenance compared to the Kodiak. So, um, the cost of operation of the Kodiak is a lot less, say, compared to um, a caravan. Yeah, so the Kodiak is a true stoll aircraft, um, especially when mated on these Aeroset floats. Uh, it's, um, it takes off um, about under 2,000 feet, fully loaded. Uh, we operate off the East River in Manhattan in the summertime, full load of people, you know, 80 to 88 degrees in the summertime, and um, we're off the water um, uh, extremely quick. It's a very hostile environment, and I should say it's probably one of the roughest places to operate a seaplane uh, due to the boat traffic and, and ferry wakes. Um, but the airplane uh, performs awesome off the water. Um, it climbs once off the water to clear all the bridges, and um, uh, we, we take the airplane and we, we pick up passengers in the city and we fly them out to the Hamptons, and um, we make it out there in under half an hour. So it's a very fast airplane when it's in the air. Um, we're typically cruising uh, about 160 knots, and um, it's a very comfortable ride and fast and efficient ride. Yeah, so the first uh, first year we ever operated a Kodiak off the East River, we had uh, uh, many passengers that got on board and said, well, this isn't a caravan. I said, no, it's not, it's a Kodiak. And uh, they were a little hesitant at first, they didn't, uh, uh, no, it's you know it's a brand new airplane to them, uh, specifically when they've been flying, um, you know, for the last 10 years or so on a caravan. And um, uh, every customer that actually uh, said that to me, they're actually blown away um, by the performance and the ride of the of the Kodiak.